What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 7 of our Blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, definitely show some thumbs up clicks on that little thumbs up y likey button below the video. Uh, it helps the channel more than you'd expect. Uh, we have pretty much fully explored Howieoli City at this point, and now we're just gonna head down to the. I'm assuming the marina is down here. The ferry terminal is. It's pointing left. Well, when you read the font, it, it's pointing left, which would imply that it's up the road th that way. But I actually think it means from the what you're facing, which actually means down. So I'm just going to go down to this ferry terminal down here. And I'm assuming this is where we're going to run into Team Skull. Because we got a little event flag marker down here. And it looks like we got our uh, Elima is here. Greetings. It's me, Captain Elima. And he goes, yo, 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 check it. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. Oh, they got a little rhyme of their own going on. What thugs? Look at these kids. Oh, but they got this, uh, like... <sighs> so, Cap, just giving the Pokemon, yo! Oh, you from the trainer's school already made your way to how old, hmm? <laughs> what? What? Why are you trying to act hard? We're already as hard as bone out here, homie. Yo, let's check these fools. Thugs, oh my, how terrifying. Only thieves steal people's Pokemon. I won't stand for it. Geo, wasn't it? I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. This is a great opportunity for a doubles battle. We really don't need this to be, uh... This guy's, like... Gesturing. He's gonna change the game with his mad Pokemon skills. I'm assuming a Grimer here. But maybe he's got, maybe he's just a little Rattata. He's just a grunt. He's got one Pokemon, but he's about to change the game with his Zubat skills. It was a Safari Ball that he threw it out in. Maybe a Level Ball, maybe a Repeat Ball. Level 8. Uh, I'm assuming he's gonna Supersonic me. Uh, thank goodness he avoided. I'm gonna hit him with this super effective Thunder Shock, and that's gonna straight take out the Zubat. No problem. No problem, kid. Goose grew to level nine. Ja grew to level nine, and Team Skull is uh, defeated forever. We've defeated Team Skull, and we never need to worry about them again. So this is a great game. Look how big those eyes are, and how dilated this people. He was playing a different game. Let's get him out this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack Pokemon anyway, Elima. How does he know Elima? There's a Corsola in the background. I see that. Again, oh my, how terrifying. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? Where do you get these magical powers to heal... I wish I had that. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer's school. Professor Kukui brought me brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seemed to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well, then allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Alright. Behold, the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Elima. Alright, so we got like a little, uh, I don't want to call it a trainer battle, but it's a captain battle. Let's call it a captain battle. Captain Elima. Goose! Oh man, this could have been a goose v goose match, but instead we just got Gambit here. Uh, at his level 9, he should have Pursuit and Tackle and I think maybe Leer. So I don't re I'm not a huge fan of Leer, but I'm just gonna hit him with two Magnet Bombs. Now he is gonna go for the Pursuit right away. Shouldn't do too much, I have pretty good defenses. 
Uh, and this... Wow, that really did not do very much damage. Uh, so let's... I don't really want to supersonic him. That's kind of obnoxious. Let's just keep magnet bombing for now. Uh, looks like I'm not... I'm not super confident I'm actually going to win this. We're pretty close. Maybe So let's go for... We're going to go for one supersonic. Uh, because he's done 10 damage to me, so I can survive three more attacks. That gives me three opportunities for him to hit himself in confusion. 14 down to 9, so he's hitting me for 5. So maybe he'll miss his next attack. Uh, by hitting himself in confusion. We'll kind of get a we'll get a feel for it here. He has to do it this turn. No, he used a full heal. So, that didn't really do much for me there. Uh, Gambit's actually not even gonna beat this young goose one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna go for a Thundershock here because uh, a Magnet Bomb won't take him out anyway. But a Thundershock has the chance to hit him with a Paralysis. I think. Yeah, that's too bad. Just barely missed out on the KO there. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna switch. I'm not gonna switch Gambit out though. I'm just gonna pop a potion on him. That's one thing uh, in games like this. I always seem to neglect using items. I don't know. Like, and then I end up stockpiling them. By the end of the game, I'm gonna have hundreds of potions, and they're completely pointless items to hold on to in the late game. And we'll just uh, finish him off with a, a Thunder Shock. He gets double pursuit off because of the item use priority mix up. So he does get an extra 10 damage on me, but uh, Young Goose will go down and we'll see what his next Pokemon is. I wonder if it's an evolved form of Young Goose. Lapita 14. A Smeargle. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's get some fun going on in here. Let's go Peck Peck. I haven't really seen Pecky Peck do its thing, you know what I mean? And I know he has a fighting type attack. I know Smeargle is normal. And Pecky Peck looks pretty cool. Hit him with that Rock Smash. He's going to outspeed me and go for the tackle. And wow, that does so much damage. Yeesh. So, unfortunately, Pecky Peck cannot withstand a tackle of that magnitude. That did great damage. Uh, I want to switch in Gambit, but I'm not... Because I, I know I resist the tackle... Yeah, let's do it. Let's switch Gambit back in. No, because I'm going to take two tackles just to get off one attack. And if those first... If he can three-hit KO me, it, it wouldn't have been worth it. So, uh, Lil P won't get three-hit KO'd. Let's switch in Lil P. I was hoping Peck Peck could uh, outspeed. But I suppose because it's a starter evolution of the evolutionary chain. Uh, I suppose, I suppose not. So let's hit him with a water gun. Leafage. Oh boy, he's got a grass type attack. This should be able to take him out though, given how much damage. Wow, it didn't. What am I down to? 17, but he hit me with a tackle earlier. I think I'll survive another leafage, but leafage is an interest. I haven't heard of that move before. That's... Oh my god, I survived with one. High roll. High roll. But Smeargle's gonna go down. Lil be pulling his weight. Peck Peck, grew to level 10. Ja grew to level 10. But Fritz did not, and I really want Fritz to grow to level 10 because I don't want him on my team anymore. He's actually the only one I wanted to grow to level 10. Unless someone else evolves at 10. Nah, no, it doesn't look like it. 
You, or should I say, you and your Pokémon, make quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Verdant Cave and attempt the trial. The trial of Elima. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. See, they mentioned earlier that you say Alola to greet people. They did not say, although if you know Aloha in Hawaiian does mean hello and goodbye. Uh, but they never said that Alola means goodbye in this game. They didn't say that. How are we supposed to know that? You know what I mean? I'm just checking to see if these guys have any items for me. She's going to give me an X defense. What do you got for me? Did they say sharply raised? I don't think it sharply raises. This guy's got an X battle. Or an X attack. X battle. I just had a stroke. It's sharply raised. Interesting. So I suppose X items got improved in this game. That person told me I have a sweet face and that she thinks old ladies give me candy. Which is terrifying in its own right. So this is how people get here. Via this ferry system. Still undergoing maintenance, so presumably later on in the game we'll be able to... Uh... Got a vending machine here. All my favorite drinks are completely sold out. And is this a shop? Good for you to stop by. Have a look at my wares, but just a look. They aren't for sale. Why are you even here? Why do you get up in the morning? Okay. So it looks like there's uh, nothing else over. Oh, I got a little ramp. Got a little down ramp here. And an item. What we got? Super potion. Excellent. So, uh, Elima's done. We're gonna head over to Route 2 here. How old Maybe on the way out... Would it, would it kill us to visit the Pokemon Center? I don't think it would. But I don't really have my PhD in Killonomics, so... Maybe it will kill me. Maybe this is the last episode. Maybe you guys will never see this because I'll never edit and upload it because I'll be dead because it killed me. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm not feeling death. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. Um, as soon as I exit this Poke Center, I'm going to cut this video because what I'm going to do is battle until I evolve Fritz into a Butterfree and then I'm going to get him out of my party. We did it, boys. Fritz is evolving. We're gonna see a beautiful Butterfree. Butterfree's data is getting added to the Pokedex right on. Is Weirdly enough, I don't even have a Caterpie. I'm probably going to have to go back to get one because I'm pretty sure that we're not going to see them anymore in the future areas. I learned Gust. I guess that's something. On to Route 2 with a Caterpie in hand. Oh, Lily's asking me to wait for her. Does she want to battle? She always talks about not wanting to hurt Pokemon, but she's got Nebby. Can't figure out the roads here. She can't buy her own clothes. Moving on to the first trial. We're going to the Verdant Cavern. She read an old book once that they were once a... The challenges were once a journey that you made to prove yourself and gain strength to battle the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles. And uh, if we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we'd find the answer as to why it saved you and Nebby that day? Nebby's gonna... Nebby wants to come out of the bag. He doesn't like being trapped in there. So why does she... I think something's in front of Route 2. Something I didn't really want to see again. What?
There, Geo, I've got this ordinary creature calmed again for now. Why don't you try giving him a little pat? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Moo? What's up, Tauros? Maybe old Tauros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you, and yet... It seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! What, you don't want to play- you want to play tag now? The Melee Melee Kahuna never loses, friend. Hmm. What do you think there is beyond Route 2? It's too much. I can't wait to see it all. Me neither, little Rotom. Me neither. So on to Route 2. Uh, a path through many grassy patches. Interesting. Ooh, okay. Seen the way grass shakes in Route 2. So this is going to be our introduction to how the grass kind of rustles differently. Uh, the rustling grass hides Pokemon that is dying to pounce on an easy trainer target, but battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. Interesting. This looks like a trainer. Is there... There's not, like, crawling in this game. But he ran towards me as soon as I entered the grass. I couldn't tell whether or not they had like an outline that made it look like... Ooh! Makuhita, not bad. Pre-evolution of Hariyama. Love Hariyama. Uh, but I'm a fighting type and this guy's gonna murder my face. So let's not do this. Uh, is Peck Peck type oh, part normal? Yeah. Always normal fly. They don't need to do that. They should just make him straight normal. But Fritz is bug flying, so he's going to double resist. Let's switch in Fritz for... Ah, I probably shouldn't have done this because I don't really care about Fritz. All, all the more reason. Fritz will take the damage. Hit him with that gust. He's, just only, he's only got a tackle here, but... Um, Gust shouldn't take this guy out. Perfect. Hit him with that focus energy, and red, blue, yellow, that actually made it so that you could not get a crit. Due to some weird bug in the system, instead of increasing your chance to crit, it actually dropped it to zero. So I wonder, he said he, they sometimes drop items after the battle, but I caught this guy, so I don't know whether or not he'll drop an item still. I guess we'll learn. This is going to be one of those new features that we learn. Gambit grew to 10. Rest of your team EXP share. Makuhita, number 56. Very cool. VC. This doesn't look like an Alola version. Just regular fighting. Next. Ooh, yes! We do want to give Makuhita a nickname, and what are you gonna be? Um... We're gonna name this one after my buddy, uh... John, aka Pokemens. We're just gonna call him Men's. Because he's a male. There we go, men's. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, I clicked the right button. I wasn't paying attention. I just kind of clicked A. Uh, but I'm done with you, Fritz. Thank you for helping me catch Makuhita. Do I get an item now? I do not. So I suppose I need to end the battle. Not just, uh, not just do it. So let's get in the trainer battle here. We met eyes. Welcome, trial goer. Think you can handle, handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? Hmm. I wonder. Beauty Crystal. That's nice of them to uh, make her have brown eyes. Ordinarily, people always assume blonde hair, blue eyes. That's the figure of beauty, but I don't know. Brown eyes can be nice, too. She's got a ghastly, so... I don't know what that says about her. Let's go Magnet Bomb here. Wait, hold on. Is Magnet Bomb a physical? I feel like it's not, but... Does it tell me? It is physical. No wonder I was... Ah, That's silly. So he's going to hit me with that sleep. 
That deep slumber. That's obnoxious. I could switch. I don't really want her to put my whole team to sleep. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use an awakening. That is literally what it's here for, and I'm not predicting that she's gonna over she's not gonna double spite. So I'm gonna lose some PP of my Thundershock. I'm not predicting she's going for that double hypnosis. Magnet Bomb gets reduced, I don't mind that, because I'm actually going to hit him with Thundershock here. He's going to go for a Lick, hoping no para. No para, no para. She gets a crit, though. Crit, no para. And the uh, Thundershock will take out Ghastly. So gas there may be a Ghastly around here that I could catch. Goose grows to 10. And learn Sand Attack. Wow, I bet you can finish any trial. Look at that lean forward, like... Mm. Wow, not so beautiful now, huh? With that ugly attitude. You're ugly on the inside, beauty crystal. Sick burn. This guy's got something to tell me. If you go ahead, there's, you can reach the cemetery, so... Ooh! Uh, we can catch a drift loom there and then turn in that side quest that we were seeing earlier. So this is the cemetery. I think. There's an item over here in this corner. There's a trainer battle up there. Let's rush through this trainer battle right quick. RQ. Show me the moves that you're good at. Do not end a sentence with a preposition, please. Breeder Luke. Got that Pikachu in that green ball. What is that, a sports ball? It's green with a couple of red dots. Uh, so, this is going to resist my Magnet Bomb and my Thunder Shock. So, I guess I could just go for a tackle on him. Tackle, non-stab, 40 power, not resisted. Uh, magnet Bomb, 60 power... Stab on 60 power means an additional 30 makes it 90 divided by 2 is 45 So it's actually going to be stronger To go with the resisted magnet bomb than it is to go for the tackle. So I'm just gonna do that Hit him with that tail whip. Oh, you know what? I didn't listen to hear if Pikachu says Pikachu or if it goes like Or something like that. That was a crit Oh boy Probably just going to be faster just to switch. Let's see Goose do something for once, huh? Play nice. Special attack drop? No, attack drop. Ugh. Uh, okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> and gets the para. My goodness, this Pikachu. Goose is pretty good. Decent stats. Play nice to drop my attack stat again. Two more of these should still take... Ooh, one took him out. That was... Alright, Goose. Not bad. Not bad, buddy. Gambit's trying to learn Thunder Wave. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to forget an old move. And uh, this is kind of what I was talking about. If you guys remember in the prologue, uh, T-Wave got nerfed. It's now actually accuracy 90 instead of 100. And Paralysis also got nerfed. Uh, reducing speed only to 50% of your original instead of all the way down to 30. So uh, I'm still going to pick up this move in lieu of Tackle. Because it seems like in most scenarios, it's still going to be more advisable for me to use Magnet Bomb. There's a... Do you guys see this button on the bottom screen? It says Care. Not really sure what this is all about. Men's wants to learn Fake Out. Hell yeah, I want to learn Fake Out. That's amazing. Uh, instead of Focus Energy, I'm not a big fan of... I'm not a big fan of Focus Energy. Set up moves early in the game also, they're not fantastic. Jar grew to 11, and we defeated Luke. 
Luke? And I clicked care, but I don't know what that does. Phone's blowing up. Oh, give your Pokemon tender loving care. Pet them gently and make them very affectionate towards you. Give Pokemon Poke Beans. Pokemon love to eat them. You can get them in the cafe area in any Pokemon Center. Pokemon can get dirty when they battle. When that happens, make them clean with the grooming tools. This also heals status conditions such as poison or paralysis. Your Pokemon can switch. You can switch the Pokemon you care for. Pokemon that become very affectionate will battle with Zest. Make a lot of Pokemon affectionate towards you. Okay. Uh, I'd like to groom. I don't get it. So medicine? What do I do? I don't understand what's happening. So I click it. Do I just rub it on him? And then it just poofs and goes away. I don't really. I just, I don't understand what this is doing. Why it's not. I'm just kind of holding it on him, hoping that it reduces his paralysis, but. Oh, you just really have to hold it on him for a long time. <laughs> just hover it over him. So we're learning, guys. We are learning. So he's... Young Goose has got those ugly-ass teeth, though. Let's switch Poplio into my care mode. And then, uh... Right, give him some beans. He liked that, I think. Cool. Let's get out of here. This is a mode I'm not particularly... I don't give a, a whole lot of a, uh, of a care about this, so... But it's good to know that we can get rid of... Get rid of status effects after the battle. This guy's just chilling at the cemetery. And uh, something something about family crests. I'd like to finish up the cemetery, maybe grab a Drifloon, then run back to that guy in town. So that, I think that would be cool. That might be a good way to uh, end the episode. He's got a luxury ball, Makuhita. All my stuff's still in Pokeballs. Um, since I'm going to be going back pretty soon, let's just go... Let's just Thundershock this kid. Hopefully he doesn't karate chop me, but it looks like I'm going to two-hit KO him. He's just going to go for a tackle. I'll resist that. No damage. Uh, finish him off with a second Thunder Shock, and Gambit's making moves right now. Stanley's down. Some more Poke Yen. There's a TM over to the right, so let's kind of run through here. Maybe we'll catch a Drifloon in the way. TM 100? They have 100 TMs in this game? Actually, I think that's... Isn't that what they had in the last game also? Can't remember. Drifloon, please. Ooh, a Miss Dravis. Okay. Let's go, please. Just stay in the ball. I don't even want to use you, Miss Javis. I don't even care about you. Stay in the Pokeball. You are not important to me. Thank you. My goodness. My goodness, Gracious. I'm not even going to nickname it. Number 66. Sent it to the box. 
But Gambit's got to move now. Uh, Gambit's kind of low on the in the HP department. Let's get a little P some more, some more EXP. Another item here, and another trainer battle up top. Something about getting mournful. Very cool. You don't look to be mourning, office worker Jeremy. You seem pretty happy, actually. And you've got a diglet. Good thing I switched out of... Uh, of my steel electric type, four times weak to ground moves. Although I imagine Diglett probably doesn't have any. He's probably just gonna tackle. Astonish. Going for that ghost type, but I'm super effectively gonna I'm gonna take you out with this water gun. Diglett's got no defenses. Very cute though. Love Diglett. Lil P man. Level 15. And wants to learn Aqua Jet. Yeah, I'll take Aqua Jet. All about that priority. Uh, probably in lieu of baby doll eyes, I'm assuming. My phone's blowing up, and I'm very sorry about that. Honestly, I if it if it keeps happening, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it on the bed. That's how I punish Mr. Phone. So um, here's what we're gonna do now. Since I'm pretty much we got another item here, it's a super potion. I think we're pretty much done here. So I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna battle until I find a drift loon, and then we're gonna head back to turn in that side quest. We do see a ghastly, so we're gonna catch this ghastly, and then we're gonna keep going to drift loon. Ghastly is very cool. Gonna become a Gengar. Uh, we're gonna name this one. We're going to nickname this. I do like Ghastly. I like Ghastly a lot, actually. Uh, we're going to nickname you Miggy. After my boy Mega Mogwai, a.k.a. Miguel. Who recently retired from, uh, from Pokemon. Which is really sad. Let's have a look at my party. What do we got here? We got Men's the Makuhita... Gambit the Magnemite. We are rocking a couple of older Pokemon here. I like Gambit, um, not because I want Magneton and Magnezone on my playthrough team, but I like having an electric type Pokemon. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop Gambit here. Um, I do really like. Electric types, but I don't know. Okay, guys, so, um, we're having a really hard time catching Drifloon here. Uh, I cut the, cut the middle part out with all the battling, but I'm about 15 battles in and I still haven't seen one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe come back and do this, do this at a different time. Cause it's getting kind of uh, getting kind of obnoxious actually how long that's taking I want to find out how to get up here uh, but we can figure that out a little bit later um, but for now then I guess if if we're all done with the cemetery now's a good time to uh, to save the game and uh, move on to the next episode so if you guys are enjoying this so far definitely give me that thumbs up and uh, leave me some comments down below I'm gonna be trying to read them kind of in between while I'm editing and uploading videos um, as I go through the game so as always my name is Jim Leader Geo you guys are the challengers thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>